Hey YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro, and I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH file for your iDevice today. Now, this is a really useful thing that all jailbreakers and unlockers must have, and it's basically a code that will allow you to downgrade your iDevice in the future from a newer firmware in case you accidentally updated, or a jailbreak requires you to have an older firmware, and it's just a really overall good thing to have saved. All right, so I have an iPod Touch 2G that is not jailbroken and on firmware 4.1. And I'm going to show you how to save the SHSH file. It's really easy, really fast. Okay, so you will need to go to tinyumbrella.com, or actually it's the firmware umbrella. Well, actually, I'll just have a link in my description, but you will need to click right here where it says whatever operating system you have click on it and save it and then extract it to your desktop and after you have it there I'm gonna right click it and run as administrator and click yes alright so now that you're here I already have a couple a couple of my SHSH blobs saved and I'm just gonna save this iPod Touch 2G one basically make sure your iPod Touch is plugged in via USB and Locate it in the sidebar and click save SHSH. And after it is finished loading, I will be right back. Alright, so the loading has finished, and I forgot to mention that you do not need to be jailbroken to save your SHSH. It's just a really good thing for the future when a jailbreak does come out that you can just downgrade to that firmware. And it's also a good thing for the new devices that come out. They don't have any jailbreak available, but you can still save their SHSH file and you'll have it in store for the future. All right, so it's finished. And as you can see, it's, it's saved two SHSH blobs from my iPod Touch. And it seems like it's been jailbroken previously. But yeah, that's basically it. It's a really good thing that you should always have ready in case a jailbreak comes out that is for an older firmware and that's how you do it guys I will post a new video that will show you how to downgrade using your SHSH blobs and thanks a lot you guys please subscribe and rate this video